Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. How are you all doing? I am doing great and I'm ready to start this week with you guys and sharing another balloon garland kit review. This one I'm going to tell you right now like a little spoiler for you guys. Very pretty. I was very impressed and I love, 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 love how it turned out very pretty this balloon garland is from zancy buzz i hope i pronounced that right if not here is the name of the company right now for you guys to read it this balloon garland has let me quickly read this to you a hundred balloons five colors dark blue tiffany blue blue uh confetti blue silver marble blue uh, small large balloons very nice uh, balloon kit. I'm looking at it right now I'm not going to show you because it's gonna spoil the whole thing for you and the price is very nice I like the price too. So If you're interested and in what is happening, let's go here. We have another balloon kit this is a new company that I am reviewing the company name is Zancy buzz I am really excited because this balloon garland kit does have marble balloons. I'm extremely excited. By the look of it, it looks interesting and very different from every other balloon kit that I reviewed. I can see these flowers over here, plastic flowers, and I see fishing lines. So this is very different. I am excited to open this up and see what this uh, has inside and what does it include. Let's do it together. Okay, so first things first, they do have instructions. Balloon pump, glue dots, balloon tying tool. This is very handy. I love this thing. Then, as I said a little bit earlier, this is a fishing line, balloon strip, four bags of balloons, and we have these uh, plastic guys over here. They look like flowers with uh, holes and... Uh, I don't know, we'll see what we, we're going to do with them. I'm pretty excited to see how this balloon garland would look. Uh, let's go and figure this out together. I did figure out what are these for. Looking at the picture over here, they do show us that you kind of like twist your balloon after blowing and you insert into this thing, kind of twist, and that will, um, help you make these flower like balloon clusters i'm not sure if i will be using these but hey it's a it's a good idea if you want to make a flower we'll see we'll see what we're gonna do with these uh, let's move on to that stuff i want to start with this bag first because i am super excited about these balloons over here the marble ones let's see oh yes i love this a lot again clear balloons with blue blue confetti i like that there's five of them also there's uh five marble balloons so let's try to blow these beautiful balloons first times because i'm really really excited about them let's open this pump up okay and try to blow one of them or all of them you guys when you see a balloon kind of taking this pear shape uh, shape that means that you over blow your balloon so I'm letting a little bit of air out and this is what we get really really cute I like the softness of these balloons and balloons here they stretch really nice 
and very easy so that means it's gonna be easy to tie them so I'm taking my balloon tying tool over here I'm putting this tool on my three fingers over here with opening facing up like this placing my balloon right on top of this opening pinching this part with my thumb against this tying tool stretching this tail wrapping around the tool and right here there's still an opening so I need to put this tail under my just wrapped balloon grabbing my tail and pulling releasing my balloon from my balloon tying tool and here we go these look really really pretty I really like it it's looking really really cute I like it I love the color of the confetti Tying my balloon again and here we go now what do we do with confetti because this doesn't look good right one spot mm -mm. so here I have my paper towel piece or you can grab some kind of a I don't know cloth or anything that you have available and start rubbing your paper towel to make your balloon static inside keep rubbing 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 give it a shake rub more To make sure every single confetti is magnetized inside and stuck to the walls and here we go a beautiful balloon with confetti okay let's finish all of the balloons and i'm excited to construct this Ready to construct my balloon garland and here is this balloon strip you guys usually we or I see balloon strips with two holes um, together like a bigger hole and then there's like a slot you uh, feed it through that slot and then push it into a smaller but this time just one hole so let's construct this balloon garland together okay you guys i want to leave my marble balloons and my confetti balloons uh without a strip so i'm not inserting them into a strip i'm going to insert my silver balloons and any other balloons into a strip but then later on i'm gonna get my glue dots and strategically place those confetti balloons and marble balloons on my garland so to make sure they will be visible and they would beautify my balloon garland even more so let's start i think i want to start with the bigger balloon today so i am pushing this balloon through this hole on my balloon uh, strip and uh, yeah it holds uh, really well I am not twisting my balloon strip but no way and I'm keep on inserting other balloons I will be skipping holes and I'm I will try to kind of guide you through everything that I do Right now, I'm going to skip a hole because holes are really, really close together. Okay. 
I think I will be skipping one hole every single time because these holes are really really close together so skipping a hole every single time and keep on working This time I skipped two holes just because as I said these holes are really really close together so don't be afraid of skipping holes. Now I'm going to skip like five holes or something like that to make sure these uh, balloons are comfortable right there in this balloon strip together. Literally, I'm skipping five holes right now. Five, four, three, because they are getting really, really like clustered over there. And I'm afraid that they're gonna start popping out. I'm skipping more than five right now for this big blue balloon. feel your balloon garland like seriously just uh, keep feeling it and seeing it and kind of straighten your balloon garland to see if you need to skip more than one or two or five holes it's totally up to you is constructed so far so good I like the quality of balloons all of the balloons are very nice and very stretchy very soft quality latex uh, just these uh, silver balloons they're kind of like a little bit tougher and not as stretchy as the rest of them overall I mean no complaints here so in this kit you guys they do provide you with this fishing line over here uh, for hanging your balloon garland like usual every single video that I do with my uh, backdrop stand I take fishing line wrap around one of the spots on my balloon garland pin my safety pin over here and I do have some kind of sporadically spread on my uh, fabric just in case if I need to uh, tie my balloon garland more than once or more than two times and I am taking this fishing line that is wrapped around my balloon garland and taking it to my safety pin tying it to it and it's gonna hold your balloon garland great for those who don't have a stand or frame or backdrop or anything like that you can use command hooks I heard they are the best for hanging your balloon garlands they work they hold amazingly haven't tried it yet hopefully soon I will try it and let you know my opinion for those who try the command hooks let me know what you guys think are they great do they damage your walls let me know in the comments below I'll be interested to no. So now let's do exactly what I said, wrap my balloon garland with fishing line and tie it to my safety pin. As you can see, I didn't insert these pretty balloons into my balloon strip on purpose. I want to strategically place them to make sure they are visible on my balloon garland. I learned my mistake because I, when you place really pretty balloons, unusual balloons like these into your balloon strip and then you go and fill in spaces with smaller balloons, most of the times 
well, at least to me, it happened that smaller balloons will kind of overwhelm the pretty balloon. Now I'm taking my glue dots and finding spaces for these balloons over here. Also, you guys, this balloon strip is super, super long. My, the rest of my balloon strip ended up at the very top, so I can take my balloon strip and insert uh, some of these balloons, like two probably. Probably I'll take this confetti one and this marble one and insert them at the very end right here just to make it this balloon garland a little bit longer and it's going to be a perfect placement for them. Rest, they're going to be, will be kind of spread out on the whole balloon garland. So let's go. what I have for you guys today look at this beautiful balloon garland look at this I am in love with these marble balloons and these confetti balloons they look so gorgeous I am like seriously love it so much I love the idea that I actually left these balloons outside of my balloon strip and filled in spaces later on with them because I really wanted them to be noticeable. And that's uh, what happened here. I am loving it and that's what I will be doing uh, with every single kit. Perfect, just worked out perfectly. They had enough glue duds for your balloons to fill in spaces. I love the quality of the balloons. I love my balloons um, being soft and very easy to be tied. That's what it is. Every single balloon was really nice and easy to tie. Uh, these silver balloons were a little bit more like rougher and more like plasticky, but it wasn't as bad. Um, and yeah, I had no problems tying any knots on any of these balloons love it you guys i am in love and yeah i will share this balloon kit i will list it for you under in the description under this video and i will share some pictures at the end of this video Alrighty guys so here you have it this is my review on this balloon garland kit love the kit love the quality like the price and I love the marble balloons in there. They are bringing to this garland something special and they're like, I don't know, they're just fabulous looking balloons. I love it. I will uh, link this uh, kit in the description under this video. If you're interested, go ahead and check it out. Let me know what you think about this balloon kit in the comment section below. Come by, say hi. I'll be there to chat with you guys, like always, like usual. I'm enjoying doing that. And you guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. New here, subscribe for more videos. And I will see you back very soon. Bye.